All right, so I just got this 2080 Ti in and this thick boy radiator. And I've got a fish tank. So I got Fusion 360 open and I'm going to be designing a custom computer case. Let's get started. When designing a case, the first thing I do is go to grab CAD and I grab a motherboard of the same size, so an ITX motherboard, a similar graphics card, stuff like that. But what you can do is you can put the components in first and kind of get them as close together and as compact as you feel is uh, you know, a good trade off between airflow and uh, size. And then you can design the mount. All right, time to remove the top and bottom borders of the fish tank. I guess the bottom is tempered, but the sides are not tempered. I'm sorry, Osmar. Oh uh, yeah, so flawless disassembly. Alrighty, I have modeled the jagged edge. Let's drag this broken glass in here. I've made some progress and I was actually inspired by that shattered glass. So I'm going to be printing this uh, cover panel that will kind of follow the shattered portion of the glass, cover up the sharp edges and um, you know, basically incorporating that shattered glass into uh, design detail now. So I went ahead and added ventilation and the fan is going to be blowing up. So it'll be positive air pressure inside the case, which should help keep dust out. So I've started the print. I'm printing this on a Prusa, which has 250 by 230 print bed size. If it was 250 by 250, it would have worked all as one piece, but unfortunately I had to split it up into a bunch of awkward chunks, which I'll be connecting with pins. All right, so I have a clearance issue where these uh, caps are bigger than I expected. But uh, my brother on his robot ended up heating up the plastic and then just smashing this uh, servo horn into the 3D print after it was nice and warmed up. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to heat up this wall and this is only 10% infill so it should be able to just collapse and I should be able to smush the radiator and the knob into the plastic. It actually worked surprisingly well. Some of my mounting holes were a little too big, so I just filled them with epoxy and then drilled them out again. And my graphics card doesn't really fit fully, but that's nothing a little heat can't fix. The bends in the riser cable are pretty tight, so hopefully it still works. I now have my drives installed. If I need to remove them, I just pull these tabs. And then over on this side, um, I noticed that when I uh, screwed on these right angle adapters, the um, output was slightly not in line with the plane that these holes and these holes are on. So I got these little uh, adapters from Micro Center and they will space the right angle out just enough so that everything's on the same plane. And um, now I can start bending the tubes. All right, here we have my very first run. And the radius is kind of too slack. Take two, I made another version. It's a tighter radius this time, but unfortunately it got a little bubbly. You can see that the radius isn't perfectly circular. Maybe I'll replace it later. But... So given this current layout, obviously the intuitive thing to do is just to bring this straight down and then to bring this over to here, you know, with the flow indicator in here, but just, you know, into the flow indicator and then down there. 
but I don't really want to do the intuitive thing. So I'm thinking I'm going to bring this one all the way over and then this one down just to give, I don't know, some more visual interest, some more movement um, to the bends. In order to cut the tube, I've got this PVC cutter and it works pretty well. Probably wouldn't work on acrylic tubing, but for this stuff, boink, pretty easy. So it took four tries, um, but I finally, I haven't screwed it in yet, but I finally got the offset right so that this lines up perfectly with where it needs to mount on the block. And because I'm slowly getting better and not satisfied with what I just did a second ago, I did replace this bend. Uh, no. Take two. just slightly too short so this is at an angle this flow meter should be like that so so the cover doesn't fit I gotta cram some stuff inside but the routing I am pretty proud of how this turned out I think the layout works um, I think it looks full and I love how it's like layered you've got the water cooling and then all of this, you know, motherboard stuff is going to glow in the background, so it's like very layered. Not bad for my first try at this. Hey, it is time to leak test this. I am terrified. I don't know how long I should leave it. It's definitely doing something but I think it's running dry because there's, all right, time to kill that. Uh, all right. I've had to tip it this way and fill it from the radiator um, in order to get water into the input side of the pump. And this is a lot scarier because now if it leaks, it's all gonna go down on the motherboard, but. Oh, uh, uh, nope, 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 ah, shit. Turn off, turn off. Okay, so loop is full for a second time. I drained the distilled water out, mixed up some coolant, added it. I'm not going to be doing colored coolants because this is such a pain in the ass to fill and drain. I don't want to have to deal with changing it out. Um, one thing is that this um, flow indicator is very loud. Rattle, 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 rattle. Eventually I'm going to need to change that out for something quieter. Still working on sanding some of the faces on this top panel so that it fits a bit better, but it is starting to kind of look like a computer. Well, I was not able to get the seams perfect. Sometimes really large 3D printed parts just don't come together like you want. But I have the glass installed. And so I can finally see what this thing looks like. I could add feet to the case. I designed them in CAD, but that'd be too easy. And large feet for good airflow um, would look ugly and small feet would make gamers nexus sad. So this is what I'm doing. I have a nice little stand with a big hole in the bottom. Here it is on the stand and uh, it's a pretty cool look. And air just comes in straight from the bottom. I cut the stand to be the exact size of the case. So uh, it kind of makes it look like it just floats there. Real quick before we jump into the thermals, if you enjoyed this content, check out some of my other stuff. I've got robots, more robots. I've got another PC build, which I can link here. You can subscribe here. You can check out Instagram for behind the scenes here. Sorry, this was all filmed on a cell phone. I destroyed my real camera trying to dive. So on to the thermals. I have Fury Mark running, and then simultaneously I've been spamming the run button over and over on Cinebench. For the GPU, uh, it looks like we're maxing out around 55 degrees. It's been 55 for like, 10 minutes now um and then for the gpu we or cpu sorry we maxed out at 63 degrees i don't know if those numbers are good let me know in the comments